Thank you, Francisco, for your sharing. Uh, next up, we will in, uh, invite our president and vice president from the student council to share with us, um, be a part of the IPA program, and they are from the class of 2020. Um, I will leave the self-introduction to you. Good morning, everyone. Um, my name is Holly, and I am currently the uh, Student Council President of the 2021-2022 year. Um, I entered last year, so right now it's my second year, and this is my Vice President, Yvonne Chen. Um, We're from the same batch. Um, a little bit of background about me. My industry is marketing as well as event production, um, and I grew up in the States, and I just recently moved back to Taiwan for this program. Um, yes. and um, a little bit about myself, I'm very um, different from the business background. I was major in theater art and was doing um, an actress full-time in Taiwan, but then I decided to join IMBA to start my own company, and I'm full Taiwanese. Um, and just so for my background, the reason why I joined this program is one, is um, my background is also in fashion. So with, you know, coming to this IMBA program, one of the things I wish to do is to expand my knowledge of the business field. Um, and a second um, aspect of joining this program is that I saw that this program, it had a lot of professional development. You know, I'm able to network as well as be in classes with all sorts of different people from different backgrounds. Um, and lastly, it's, I realized that it's an international program, so you get to meet a lot of diverse people of different cultures, um, etc. And just some quick attributes. I know um, Sherry and all of our other um, alumni and classmates have mentioned before is that, you know, the IMBA program, it's really um, of international standards. We have accreditations from Equus and AACSB, which are, you know, a lot of uh, top, uh, I guess, accreditations of the business schools, as well as this is a platform for you to grow um, your network as well as grow your career. And lastly, it can be a turning point for you. If you're looking to change your career like Yvonne, um, you know, this is a place that you're able to gain the knowledge to do so. Um, and like I mentioned before, there's the diversity of the IMBA students. You can um, work with students from so many different countries, so many different cultures and backgrounds, as well as um, people from different, uh, I guess, walks of life. You have um, some students who may have just started out in their career, then others who have been in the industry for more than 10 years. And you'll get the chance to you know, meet with all of these different people and get the chance to work in groups with all of these different people to gain the different knowledge and experiences that you might not have thought of before. Um, and next is the diversity of the IMBA professors. Not only do you have professors of really high regards in so, uh, the scholar world, but also you have renowned executives um, and renowned um, business uh, industry sector people that are here to um, provide you with their industry knowledge. Um, and also, the IMBA program, although it is a business program, but what you're learning is not just business. Um, by working with all of the diverse students, you're able to um, sort of adapt and grow how you think, as well as be um, driven to challenge yourself. Like Francisco has said, it's, you know, you have to be uncomfortable. You might be used to sitting behind a desk and, you know, do, uh, just working on the computer. But in the IMBA program, you're forced to do group work, you're forced to, you know, make public speeches, and because of that, you're not just learning about business, you're learning how to grow yourself as well. Um, and also at the IMBA program, you have a really great support system, not only from the IMBA faculty, but you also have the support of your classmates as well as the alumni and all of the student clubs. Um, and you also have a lot of endless opportunities. Might it be to um, study abroad, scholarships, um, concentrations, as well as the different student activities that our student clubs provide to all of you. Um, and some of the student clubs that we have are the Dragon Boat team. We also have an Oath Club as well as the Student Council. Um, so the Dragon Boat team is such a great way to bond with your classmates because it's a sports activity and you have to work in a team on a boat. And you have to, you know, be in sync with everyone to move the boat forward. And without doing so, you know, you'll be stuck in waters. Um, and the other club is that we have Oath Club. And that is our club that um, provides 
community service as well as gives back to our society. So not only do we focus on the fun aspects of um, the world, but we also try to give back where we can. Um, and lastly, the student council, we're the ones that sort of provide you with all the parties, the student activities, as well as um, the opportunity for you to network with all your classmates as well as alumni. Um, and some of the events and activities that we hold, we have a lot of casual mixers where, you know, you can take a time to relax from all of your busy studies. Um, we also have workshops and speaker events that allow you to do a lot of professional development, whether it be presentation skills, negotiation skills, etc. As well as we have um, a lot of alumni networking events, so we allow alumni to come join our parties or we have um, specific events for alumni networking for you to be able to meet the prestigious alumni that we have. And we also have um, some major outings, and that way, you know, you're not only stuck in the um, learning environment. You can go out hiking, we go to museums, et cetera, and just to be able to explore Taiwan with your classmates. And lastly, we hold a lot of information sessions, as there's a lot of different opportunities, like scholarship, study abroad, um, as well as when you first enter the school, you might have a lot of questions, so we make sure to give you into the session to be able to um, let you be ready for the program. And um, so one thing I really live by is that it's never too late or too early to get your international MBA degree. Thank you.